This one's gonna be on PeerFlix. It is a command line tool to watch streaming torrents. So you don't actually have to download the full file to watch your movies or TV shows or whatever. Uh, you can actually watch it while you're, you know, downloading it. Um, so some people describe this as Netflix for torrents. Think of it that way if you want. And there's also, there were used to be a, a popular GUI called Popcorn Time but they got closed down like two or three months ago by the RAA. Anyways, this is the background uh, tool that they were using. So it's basically popcorn time, but for the command line, right? Anyways, uh, install it. Uh, might be different on your distribution, but figure that shit out. And this is how you use it here. So you just type in PureFlix. And now you need to go and grab the torrent link or the uh, magnet link, whatever you want to use. So this one's called Sister Street Fighter, public domain movie. I'm gonna copy this sucker. And I'm gonna put this in uh, quotations, just in case there's any funky, uh, you know, symbols or letters, or whatever. And all you gotta do at the end here is, if you wanna use VLC to play this or M player, you do a dash M for M player or dash V for VLC. And it should uh, play it. Well, it has a connect to it like uh, normal torrents do. So you have, you know, cedars and leechers. So we'll wait for it to connect here if it allows us. Um, why is it taking so long? There you go. So I think around like five megabytes, then it'll start playing the video or maybe sooner here. So this one is, look at that. It's, it's connecting to different peers. And you can see that it's downloading, right? And this one is downloading to your temporary folder. Uh, your temporary photo will make it this uh, torrent stream here and this is the file that you're downloading and you can watch it like this and you can go full screen it has sound and everything but I you know muted the sound here um, now if you want to change players let's close this out here let's control C out of this if you want to change players like I said this that was M player this if you do a dash V at the end here this will be VLC and you see you're you're watching it here the good thing about this program versus a traditional torrent client is that you can actually skip to uh, you know a different part of the movie so let's say I skip here around maybe the middle or somewhere um, and it actually you know it would take a little second to uh, adjust but after that it will actually continue playing the, the movie where it is uh, continuously so a normal torrent client it will actually you know download different bits um, from different parts. So let's say it will download from the beginning, it will download uh, the end, the middle, whatever. When you're using PureFlex, uh, it will actually do it continuously. So if you start at uh, you know uh, let's say you start at C, it will go D E F G and all that. So we're going in order, uh, basically is what I'm saying. And that's pretty much uh, it. For the thing now let's cancel all that here if you want to do some other options let's go here and do pure flex dash h so let's see what we got here you can do a block list too if you have a block list uh so it'll filter out all the ips that you don't want so if you have like a block list for your torrent client uh you can use that one here and block out RAA bitches and all that. You can do that here. Other stuff you can do. Now, some torrents, you know, they don't have just one video file. They may have, probably have like, uh, let's say you're doing like, a TV shows or whatever. They have like, you know, episodes one, two, three, four, five. How do you choose different ones? So that's where this listing and indexing comes in, right? So I'll give you a demonstration of that here. Um, this one is an old anime that I used to watch, Rowan Warrior. So I'm going to copy this here, copy address. And you can see in here, they give you a list of all the episodes. So that's basically what we're doing. We're trying to choose which episode we want to watch. Okay. But we're going to do it with Pure Flix. So it's the same thing. You do Pure Flix. Um, and then you, you know, doing quotations, put the magnet link. And now all you want to do is dash L for listing. And like I said, it will list all, all the, uh, you know, episodes or the video files in there. And you can see, let's say if I want to watch, um, what was this one? 
episode 24 here, right? Well, the index number is 30. So we know that if we use uh, index 30, we'll watch episode 24. So how do we do that? Same thing, we do this part here. But instead of using dash L, we do a dash I for index. And we want to use 30, 30. And we want to open it with, uh, let's say VLC, you do a dash V. And that's it, right? So this one will stream. Wait until it downloads some stuff first. So right now it's zero, but we have to wait for peers and, and all that. So let's wait. And there you go, it's connecting to different peers. And once it starts downloading here, right? Uh, I think like around five, it'll be stabilized. And you see, there you go, it starts playing the, the show or the anime here. It has full sound and everything, but you know, I gotta mute the sound here. Anyways, that's it for that. Um, pretty much it for the program. I've seen other people use this uh, with their Chromecast too, which I already sold my Chromecast, otherwise I'll demonstrate it out. But if you're using it for a Chromecast, make sure uh, you want to, well, if you're using also BitTorrent Sync, they use the same port, so you might have to change the port, all right? Um, if you're using the Raspberry Pi, instead of using VLC or M player, you can use the OMX, what's that, OMX player. That's another one. Oh yeah, another thing is if you want to remove the file after you exit uh, the thing, then because by default, like I said, it saves your file into your temp folder. And uh, they'll save it into this uh, this folder here, this uh, torrent stream. But if you add a dash, um, what was a dash R at the end here, uh, once you exit PureFlex, it will actually delete that folder and it will not take up space in your temporary, uh, you know, directory here. That's pretty much it for the program. Pretty cool. I'll show you a script that we can uh, combine this with instead of like searching it, uh, you know, from the web browser and manually do this. Uh, we're going to use a command line program and then search the torrents and then stream it uh, via the command line too. Anyways, probably that in the next video or maybe the next week or something like that, not sure. That's it for this one.